Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and I finally got my art booking cartridge. Remember I told you I didn't order it because I wanted the stamp of the month for uh, July, uh, for August, excuse me. It's the awesome, I don't know, I've got it here somewhere. Uh, I started playing right away, so it's that awesome set. Um, you know, the chocolate, the chocolate stamp set, look at that, isn't that nice? I mean, I, so I've got that, and that's why I waited so long to order it. Anyway, I want to show you what I'm making. I have a dinner party coming up, and it's from, you know, some of the ladies at church and that, and we had some pictures, and what I thought I would give a gift of this little picture, Victoria, or I call it a Pick folio, P I C folio. At any rate, what I did, and I want to show you, is I just put seven inches on the um, Cricut Craft Room, and it comes out and it does a five by seven. Look at that, a five by seven sheet. Oops, I'm going to zoom out so you can see. A five by seven sheet, and we'll put this together, and you got to see what I did. It, and I wasn't sure whether it would look nice or not, and so I just the I I needed to do a few of them, you know, for the ladies at church. So I used what I had a couple sheets of the same color, and I thought I didn't know what I was going to do with this. So they do have little tick marks here where you can cut, you know, but I honestly can't see them. This getting old stuff is for the birds. I guess I need a new set of reading glasses. Anyway. You can easily see just by folding what you have to fold over. Fold over the little tab, fold over the little tab, and then fold up this. And I found that it's easier to just fold it by hand than it is to do the score marks, you know, and do it that way. So, so at any rate. And then just fold it down and do the same thing. Match up your side. I've done a few of them, so... I'm telling you, the best way is to just match up your side, and then you've got that. Well, I did this, and then I decided what I'm going to do. And I should have stamped it first, but I can open it up and stamp. And um, Angie is kind of a neat, neat lady at church. And I have a couple pictures I want to give her. And you know what? I think I've got some pictures sitting on my desk. I'll just pull You know what? I've got some pictures that I was going to do a scrapbook page and I'll do I'll, I'll just show one of the pictures of that and how it fits nicely in there but I've got this neat little stamp set and it's from the stamps of life and it's your two square and you actually have this you are and then you use one of these words and stick it in the square and so then when you're making one of those flip cards you can easily do that but I didn't use it for that what I did is I grabbed the words itself and I'm going to run it across here like that and then put the Angie underneath here okay so um, I have the new stamps of life white pigment ink they wear the white last and I'm going to ink it up ooh it's oozy it's I mean there's a lot of ink on this so it should have pretty good coverage. And if I goof this up, I'll just have to do another one. But I think I got it. I mean, you can really see the ink on this, and I'll show you as soon as I lift it. I'm kind of lifting and looking. Okay. Ooh, my crazy is a little bit thick. But we'll see. We shall see. And... I put it on this so that I can make sure that it's straight and excuse my head if it gets in the way but I want to get this on straight and I'm just gonna press it down now because it is a pigment ink it will take a little bit of time to dry so I won't be able to glue everything together right away I'll have to come back and do this and show you um, but and you want to really press on it so that it stays fabulous amazing sweet crazy that will actually work I think it'll work 
So, and you know what? I can glue it from here. So we will use the Angie. That's her name. And I didn't get any ink out. So we'll just use, oh, wait a minute. My zip dry's right here. We'll use that. The zip dry. The one thing I like about my scrap room is everything is within reach. Mm hmm And I keep this little goodie on here so that I can get my zip dry going. There we go. Now it's moving. And we'll put Angie on there. How are you doing? I have been off. I tell you what, I uh, went to up north. I took my mom up north, and we went to a family reunion. We had the bestest, bestest time, I want to tell you. We really had a great time. I haven't been to the family reunion in nine years, and I got to see all my cousins. I think there was only two cousins that were not there on my mother's side. There were quite a few on my father's side, but... Um, it was it's kind of neat because the family reunion is set up where on one side of the family um, It's on Saturday on my dad's side of the family and then on Sunday It's on my mom's side of the family. So and it's all the same weekend. So it really makes it nice Angie And you know what I think I'm gonna do I think I'm going to, oh, this is a good idea. We'll just put this down like that. Let me get the eye. I think I'm going to stamp over it one more time. And, um, so it's kind of backgroundish. Uh, watch. We'll see how this looks. We can give this a try. Okay. And this time, we're going to do it like this. Ooh, ooh. I'm just worried about where it goes down. So it'll be like a background stamp. There we go. Ah. I think I'm going to have to do another one. I didn't press all the way on the C. And kind of make it like a background stamp. You know what I'm saying? We'll have it all over the place. And it's okay then if it's a little bit off. I think if I had done these words smaller, it would have helped than what they are. And then we're going to do it right across here. Then we'll take off. Oh, yeah, this looks more like background. See what I mean? <laughs> okay, we need a sheet of paper here somewhere.
and we will do right here. I'm going to set this on here. See what I'm going to do? And put fabulous and amazing right there. Oh, you can't see this here. Fabulous and amazing is right here. <laughs> Fabulous, amazing. And then we'll get Oh, I like this. This turned out to be a really good idea. It's difficult to do though because I'm kind of new at this and playing at this. But I think she'll like it. I think she'll like it. Okay, now we need to get... Mm -mm -mm. This inked up again. And I'm going to ink mainly up the two first two words because that's basically what you're going to see on this. Fabulous and amazing. And put that right here. Fabulous and amazing. Oh yes, that turned out really nice. And let's do that again. And we'll do fabulous and amazing right there. This is not easy. This is not easy because I keep moving my sheet. Shame on me. There we go. And we'll put fabulous and amazing right there. Fabulous, amazing. And I'll do another fabulous and amazing there. Or sweet and crazy there. I'll do a sweet and crazy. Or just a no. We'll have to squeeze another fabulous and amazing there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How cute is this? Let's see. One more time. Fabulous. And it's drying enough where I haven't got any ink on my... Um, on this, you know, look, one little tiny spot right there. So we're going to put this here and go fabulous and amazing. I'm going to put this on top of here. Fabulous and amazing right there. and amazing. There we go. Now, that's got to dry, but the whole thing is fabulous, amazing, sweet, crazy Angie. Isn't that cute? Now, what we need is some adhesive on this. And let me show you how this will work. Wait a minute. I've got some pictures here that I just picked up because I'm going to make a scrapbook. And... Let's see what I got in here. I know they're pictures from my card party because um, I, uh, here, here's a picture from the card party. And this will, you know, when I put Angie's pictures in there, it's going to fit in there. Uh-oh, I got a problem right there. Good thing I turned over. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. 
looks like I'm going to have to put something in there. But that'll fit really nice in there, won't it? Okay. Let's go back to the drawing board. Mm -mm -mm. And we'll have to do this side too. I'm just going to do fabulous and awesome. Uh, it's got to go this way though because that's going to flip upside down, remember? So we'll go like this and do fabulous and amazing Okay, that'll work. And on this side, we'll do the sweet and crazy. If you knew this lady, she's one of the sweetest ladies you'd ever want to meet. And she's got a crazy personality. She's just a sweet, nice, and what a wonderful sense of humor. You would love her. You would love her, love her, love her. So, okay, sweet and crazy there. And we need something underneath here. So that the other doesn't get on there. See what I've got? And we'll put sweet and crazy on this side. Sweet and crazy, fabulous, amazing. So that's going to go up like that, and that's going to go wonderful. I got to put it to dry, and you'll see it when it's finished. And you have a blessed day, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye now. Okay, I'm back. I want to show you. This is how I did the next one, and I like this one better. Instead of all over the place like the other one is, um, I, that's how I'm going to do it for my dinner party. And um, when the ladies come over that was at the last dinner party, I will give them their copies of their pictures in this little packet. And what I'm going to do is um, after I get all the pictures in it, you know, after I glue it, then I'm going to take some um, tool and just tie a bow on it with tool to hold it together. And that'll make a cute little gift. And it will also serve as like a, a place card for the next dinner party. So that'll really make it nice, won't it? And that was this was much easier. It just took me a second to do that. And, um, and I think I, I've got four more to do, do because there's six ladies at the dinner party. And so I'll get those all done up and um, no time at all of doing it this way. So, anyway, I thought I'd show you this is a quicker way to do it, and it won't have the inside, so it'll take less drying time, too, which this is not drying, I mean, taking real long to dry as it is, so I'm really pleased with this. Anyway, thank you. Bye now.